It's one of those things you dream about as a young kid from the age of six or seven. It'd be great to play in an FA Cup final. I think you're very privileged and proud to take part in it. And part of its history, because that's what you are. You're part of the history. People can go back and look at the footage. Walking up the tunnel on Saturday, it was a nice sunny afternoon and you can hear the crowd getting louder and louder as you got up there and it was just so special that walking out to Wembley. In, in the old days, you walked across that sand at the back of the goal to the halfway, it was a long walk, the noise, the balloons, you know, the, the, the blue and the red balloons coming from the, our fans as we walked out, the noise was so loud and then obviously meeting the Duke, shaking hands, and then just wanted to take the tracksuit top off and run around. Just, oh, come on, let's get on with it. Sir Alex had come to the club in 86, three and a half seasons without a trophy. You know, I think any other season or any other period of time that the manager comes probably wouldn't get that length of time now. We all felt, felt under pressure. We all felt we had to win something, and I'm sure the manager did as well. And Crystal Palace, the underdogs, have taken the lead. We came back from the early setback, um, but we always had that in the team. We had players like Mark Hughes and Brian McClare. We had the experience there. So, you, you know, we weren't too disappointed that we'd gone down. Hughes! Two one to Manchester United! But it was great to come back, and we progressed and got ourselves back into the game. I right, he learned before off Steve Copper that he wouldn't start, and he was in floods of tears when he came out to train. The manager promised him that he'll give you at least half an hour or something like that. Ian Wright, the whisk kid from Woolwich, who made a huge impression last season when Palace went promotion. This is his moment now. You know, we needed something. Richard Shaw, I think, played it forward. I think I flicked it right, he got on it. Came inside Pally, I think, and slotted it under Jim Layton. Like, I couldn't believe it. it just I couldn't believe it, you know. I could believe it, because it was righty and he could make something of nothing. It was a magical moment for him. Guys who had two broken legs in the season, should never really be playing in the final, comes on and scores with his first, his first touch. Right! Goal! It's Ian right again! I remember thinking to myself at one point, we're 3-2 down, there's about eight minutes to go. We're struggling a little bit here. We know we need to get something fairly quick. And, you know, right enough, Mark Hughes popped up, as he did numerous times for United, popped up and got a great equaliser. Uh, and it was as if we'd won the game when that goal went in, because we knew we were still in it. The referee has blown, and the FA Cup final of 1990 ends in a draw. You think in that, uh, that game, the last game of the season, you've had a long, hard season, you know, you've got to go back to Wembley and you've got to play another game. I remember the first tackle on Steve Bruce was a real physical tackle. We virtually put him up into the stand and then we thought, well, we may be in for a bit of a different game here. Some heavy tackles went in from, from both teams, really. So a bit disappointing, really. It wasn't as good a spectacle and as good of a game to play in. 59 minutes through the game, the ball was in my left-back position and Paul Ince went the other way. So I thought, well, I've got a chance to have a little bit of a break here. And just as I thought that, Archie Knox shouted from the bench, get forward. So I started a run forward, probably 70, 80 yard run. Neil Webb got the ball into in the midfield, great build up. I made the run into the gap. Neil Webb played a great ball into my chest. And I thought, just get your foot on the ball. So I managed to get my foot on it. And I just saw it fly in the top corner. Probably 99 times out of 100, I'd have probably missed that. But it just went, per it flew into the top corner. I mean, I couldn't believe it. It was a great feeling. I mean, you don't get those many times in your life. Manchester United have won the FA Cup. It's just disbelief. Disbelief that we've come all that way. We know what it feels like 26 years later that if only, that's what you think, if only. And you don't want this, this group now to have that feeling. You want them to go all the way and walk up those stairs and lift that trophy. And you'll have those pictures and that footage for, for years. I've always gone to watch and massive big fan of, of United. I hope it's one of the young lads that go on and get the experience to go and score a winning goal. It is something special and it's nice if, if it was a, a local lad as well, but I, I don't mind whoever scores, it'd be great and we, if we win the game. <laughs>